sinking driveway, settling patio, collapsing stoop, uneven pool deck. It's a fact. Concrete problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. For the video for this Sunday, January the 9th, I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. Got a lot to talk about today. I think a record number of slides. It doesn't indicate we're going to have that much more bad weather than we're used to, but we could have some severe weather today. Let's uh, take a look at the uh, regional radars across the southeastern United States over into the Mid-South this morning. Showing showers and thunderstorms across a good bit of eastern Arkansas into western Tennessee. Another cluster there in uh, northeastern Arkansas, or northeastern Louisiana, as you see. Uh, we actually had a uh, radar-confirmed tornado uh, there in the morning uh, south of Natchitoches, northwest of Alexandria. Uh, there was uh, a tornado debris signature observed on radar uh, a couple of hours ago. This uh, picture taken about 540 this morning but, uh, in Sabine Parish. So um, that storm had a uh, record of um, producing tornadoes. And uh, I think since that time, it has actually... Uh, calm down just a bit of a bit a severe thunderstorm morning now in the parishes north of Alexandria across the nation today we see lots of wind chill advisories across the northern plains some uh, winter storm mornings for lake effect snows there in the upper peninsula of Michigan and uh, lots of winter weather advisories uh, and even an ice storm morning there uh, this morning across parts of central Pennsylvania now all the same areas under a winter storm watch tonight for the possibility of freezing rain so we'll be watching that tonight into tomorrow. You see some flood warnings, advisories across south, and that single tornado warning, a severe thunderstorm warning that we talked about earlier there uh, in areas northwest of Alexandria, Louisiana. The SPC does have a marginal risk. That's the risk one out of five, uh, the first level out of five, across a good bit of the deep south today from uh, extreme eastern Texas across Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, into western Georgia. And uh, that's the area we'll be focusing on today. Uh, severe weather threat this afternoon, generally in areas uh, south of the line from uh, Fayette to Birmingham over to Talladega and into Georgia. Um, that risk is um, negligible to the north. Uh, can't rely on a strong storm possibly along the warm front, but a uh, better chance for the south you go. These are temperatures off the HRRR today at 4 a or at 4 p 3 p.m. Sorry. Um, showing readings reaching 70 in areas uh, south and west of Birmingham. And um, we'll be watching uh, that, of course, because that's a good bit of warmth for this time of year. And dew points will be pushing 65 degrees as far north as that uh, severe weather area uh, as outlooked by the SPC there. So we'll be watching that closely. Cape values and stability, uh, thanks to the warmth and the uh, uh, the dew points and the temperature profile in the atmosphere will be approaching uh, 1,200 joules per kilogram area south and west of Birmingham. And so that's, of course, uh, plenty for the development of strong thunderstorms. And those thunderstorms would be uh, possibly you know, organized because bulk shear, uh, which is a measure of the difference in the wind speed at the surface and aloft, is um, fairly decent there, 40 knots of shear. Uh, across areas uh, generally north and east of Birmingham, which is kind of the good news. Uh, the shear lessens as you go to the south, so it's not exactly um, lying on top of the of the um, higher instability values that we expect. But we do see some helicity at 3 o'clock, uh, especially along the warm front there that will be coming to the north, and uh, this leads to some you know, fairly uh, decent, significant tornado parameters very south and west of Birmingham. You can see Pretty much where the severe weather area would be delineated at three o'clock, probably moving east and southeast with time with the low, and these are some of the uh, of the maximum updraft helicities that we see. You can see some strong thunderstorms will move across the area this afternoon. Um, we could see one across northern Mississippi too. We'll be watching back into Louisiana, but uh, we have to kind of look at where the storms will be placed. Uh, this is um, this morning showing you know, pretty good agreement with what's really going on in the atmosphere. Storms over eastern Arkansas, northeastern Louisiana. That's um, what we'd expect the radar to look like. And as we saw earlier, it does. This is uh, at 11 a.m. today. Those showers and storms have moved further to the east across middle Tennessee, uh, where they still got a good bit of snow on the ground around the Nashville area. Um, parts of um, 
northern Mississippi. We'll be watching that cluster there around Greenwood. Um, and then that system continues to move on east into Alabama. This is uh, at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, showers and thunderstorms uh, generally in areas northwest of I-59, probably reaching the Birmingham area a short time thereafter. Uh, this is 3 o'clock, showing the storms beginning to intensify a bit along the warm front. And we'll be especially uh, careful watching these storms southern, south central Alabama, Montgomery, uh, down I-65, and the storms coming across the border from Meridian. Be watching those real closely. Then by 5 o'clock, uh, the storms are beginning to organize into a stronger line of thunderstorms that will push to the southeast. They're out of the Birmingham area by 8 o'clock, and you can see they're over southeast Alabama at that point. Now, tonight, temperatures will drop into the uh, lower 30s across north Alabama. Some of the one of the colder locations might see upper 20s. We'll see middle 30s across central Alabama, still hanging on to 50s uh, as the cold front pushes on through. You can see it's made it into north Florida by, uh, by this would be 7 a.m. tomorrow. And uh, on the uh, HRRR high temperatures tomorrow, probably don't get out of the 40s. I think we're calling for upper 40s, but we may have to revise that downward a bit. Looking at these readings, generally in the lower 40s, middle 40s across central Alabama, with uh, the only 50s in the state over southeastern parts of the state. So now, this is Tuesday. Going forward in time, high pressure begins to build in, and we have uh, fairly nice weather. We'll see temperatures uh, Tuesday morning uh, in the 20s across the northern half of the area, some lower 30s across south central Alabama with uh, middle and upper 30s to the south. But uh, high temperatures again on Tuesday, probably going to struggle to get out of the 40s again. Then by Wednesday, more uh, high pressure, large and in charge, high and dry across Alabama. We'll be back in the 50s after morning lows in the upper 20s. And then on Thursday, look at this uh, storm beginning to develop off the southeast coast. It'll become quite a whopper, but it's going to be far enough out that it won't cause much impact along the east coast. Uh, here in Alabama, we'll be uh, approaching 60 degrees again. Uh, with uh, finally some return flow coming on the backside of uh, the ridge to our, our to our east. You can see that uh, coastal storm really ramps up there. You can see it um, down to a central pressure of 983 millibars. Uh, so that's uh, quite a storm. This is Friday, though, in Alabama. We're still high and dry, uh, probably, uh, again, pushing up our 50s across the area. And then for Saturday night, GFS shunting a storm uh, to our south, keeping us mostly dry. South Alabama could see some rain. Uh, temperature profiles in the atmosphere over Alabama, warm enough for it to fall as all rain. Uh, but there are some differentials in this. This is the European showing a much more robust system coming in Saturday morning uh, with rain across much of uh, north, central, and south Alabama with heavy snow to the north. Um, so we'll see how the two models resolve themselves uh, on that. These are Temperatures off the national blend of models across the area. Uh, of course, upper 60s today. Uh, Going to feel nice out there as you're dodging showers and storms, but uh, should feel quite nice. Uh, we'll be back into the 40s, it looks like, for Monday and Tuesday. Climbing out of that by Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday as uh, low temperatures continue to rise also. But then as we move toward... Um, as we move toward next week, we see a drop off in temperatures again. So, uh, this is Sunday the 16th. And just off this, what we don't see is some really cold air uh, coming here. This is Sunday or Saturday night the 22nd. Uh, you can see the full trough here in the east, some snow to our northeast. And uh, this will have produced a pretty heavy snow band, uh, especially across Kentucky. I think they're going to see a foot of snow in a lot of those places that were hard hit by the tornadoes. Back in December, these temperatures here running some 30 to 45 degrees below normal. Parts of Missouri, southern Illinois, that indicates we've got a snow cover in there. Here in Alabama, we'll uh, see some teens uh, and lower 20s. So that's plenty cold. Still got to find a guess for Tuesday night. Weather rain's going to move a night uh, this week. A lot of folks going to be watching some football Monday night um, across the state of Alabama. Uh, over into Georgia, but this is um, the Brainy Bunch, our weekly podcast that's all about weather. We do it every, usually every Monday night this week, as I said, on Tuesday. Uh, but uh, lots of uh, great guests talking about weather, our favorite subject. Well, that's your weather video for this Saturday the 9th of January. I'll have notes on the blog, an update on the forecast. Scott and I will be watching the severe weather through the day, keeping you posted in case any strong storms do develop. And uh, we want to remind you just to have your... Um, uh, just, you know, have your multiple sources of uh, weather information where you can get warnings. 
and pay attention. There's a very small chance with tornado. We'll be watching that through the day. Better chance of damaging winds and hail. That'll be out of here tonight and uh, a cool and dry week ahead. Well, until I get to see you next Sunday, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Sinking driveway? Call Alabama Professional Services. Settling patio? Call APS. Uneven pool deck? Call APS. Collapsing stoop? Call APS. Cracking sidewalk? That's right, call APS. It's a fact. Concrete problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Call Alabama Professional Services today. 